elevate the visual appeal of your videos and bring a new dimension to your editing style with these creative border techniques. Step 1. Add your video to the timeline. Step 2. Adjust the scale and select a canvas color. Navigate to the right side video basic tab and decrease the scale slightly. Scroll down to the bottom and click on canvas, select color. Choose a color for your frame by selecting from the options available. Once selected, right-click on the clip and choose Create Compound Clip to merge the clip with the canvas color. Step 3. Trim the frame to the right size. To adjust the frame size, click on the Crop Ratio icon and adjust the cropping box until you achieve the desired frame size. Step 4. Customize your frame. Congratulations! you have created a beautiful frame for your clip. You can now resize and rotate the clip as needed. You can follow the same process to add frames to your images as well. Ensure that the image you want to add frame is placed at the first of the layer. Step five, utilize the high track feature. While working on the current clip, use the Hide Track feature to hide other clips on the screen, making editing easier. Remember to unhide the hidden clips once you are done. Step 6. Explore Background Styles CapCut offers various background styles to enhance your videos. Go to Canvas, select Style, and choose from the available styles to give your videos beautiful backgrounds. Step 7. Add Customize the Animations You can create your own animations for the frame clips to make your videos more engaging. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our energetic and creative channel for more tutorials and tips on video editing with CapCut PC. Let's use this video as an example. To start, add your video to the timeline in CapCut PC. Then, go to the library and select either the white or black border, depending on the color you want. I'll choose the white border and add it on top of the video. Click Freeze and adjust the duration.
Next, go to the Video Mask tab and then choose Rectangle. Click on the reverse button. Adjust the rectangle size. Go to Round Corners Option Drag Slider to create the rounded edge border. You can also click and drag the fan icon next to the rectangular mask to round the corners. Continue adjusting the rounded corners until you're satisfied with the look. That's all there is to it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, head over to the library, add a white background video to the timeline, and adjust the duration. Next, go to Video Mask tab. Select the Rectangle tool and reverse it to create the border. Then, go to the Video Basic. Find Blend Mode and choose the Overlay. That's it. It's that simple. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. this video as an example. Scale it down. Next, head to the library and add a white background. Now, go to the effects tab and select the color effect. Color negative, orange negative, purple negative, or blue negative, colorful, drag and drop it between the video and white background layers. Feel free to experiment with different options. You can also layer multiple effect borders for a unique look. And that's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, drag and drop it into the timeline. Then, Head to the Media Library. Choose a white background. Click Freeze and adjust its duration if needed. Next, go to the Mask option and select the rectangle shape. Click Reverse. Creating a border around your video. Add some rounded corners for a softer look. Copy and paste the white background layer.
and change the mask shape to the circle. Copy and paste the circle layer multiple times. Adjust them size and place them wherever you like. We can also add some extra elements like smaller circles or stars. Add the fade in animation to each star layer and adjust the different durations. Then select all the star layers, right click, and create a compound clip. Add fade out animation. Select all the circle layers, right click, and create a compound clip. Go to Adjustment tab, click Curves, customize the colors to your preference to enhance the visual appeal of your border. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Start by selecting your video and adding it to your track. Then, resize video as needed. Next, go to Video Basic tab. Scroll down and until you find Canvas. Then select Blur and choose the level of blur for your border. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!